combined with Spear of Resentment's skill nullifier, greatly improves the team's stability. You can do Wyvern 11! Well, she, I mean, that is a good... Wait, what? What, what did they... Wait, what? Why'd they take damage afterwards? That was kind of weird. You you would think that if they were like, let's show how, how stable she is. And it's like, she didn't protect them at all. What's going on guys, it is your boy Cash and it looks like everything is finally coming across so instead of re-uttering the same stuff over and over again and you guys are probably going to see it on every other channel, we're just going to focus on the two new characters. Oh yeah. I do want to mention really quickly that uh, you do get a Breath of Orbis here in this in the AP shop which is cool. I'm a little bit upset that these aren't higher, 71 just seems, I don't know, this is episode 2 so it's like you know, could have threw us a bone there. In there that's the two new characters on um, recorded history I'm looking forward to a lot there's gonna be some rewards for that as well just going over some quick stuff the shop is getting weird 85% increased chance to get level 55 gear uh, no thank you <laughs> the Molagori improvement uh, thing is actually pretty cool I do like this this is cool you can now see what it is which each thing is and kind of plan accordingly I don't know, like, I actually like to like just do one whole thing as I get it so I can see it. Really, really good quality of life change there. And then everything else is just like minor changes and things of that nature. So I didn't want to spend too much time on it. But one thing I did not cover is Fallen Cecilia. I saw her in the actual book, like the journal, but I didn't have the time to actually go to her and make a video. And then they also dropped a new character. So let's do the new character. We'll save, we'll save the Cupta Grande for last. Now this guy is going to be, as you can see here, the next uh, connection hero. So, ah, uh, connection. So this guy's free. You can get him. He seems okay. So like, I did read his skills. I didn't read CC's, but I definitely read his. So he has a S1. He can burn you. He kind of reminded me of Ken. That's probably why I was like, who are you? Who do you think you are? You can soul burn it for 10 souls to make sure that it's 100% chance to burn. S2. All debuffs are dispelled and burning vitality is activated if attacked while debuffed so this seems like a passive can only be activated once every three turns and then goes down to two turns and of course burning vitality increases the attack of the caster very similar to ken so his yeah it's a passive that he debuffs that's so weird it's like all debuffs are dispelled and then burning vitality is activated if attack oh okay i see i see it's a passive so every two turns if you hit him He'll cleanse himself and then give himself a attack buff. Pretty much that's what it, what that means. So had to, had to figure it out in my mind. Had to figure it out in my mind. So that's pretty cool. Ken doesn't have that, but Ken might get it. Buff Ken again. Let me stop. Uh, then he has the Ember Storm, which is it goes down to at least three cooldowns. Attacks with a fiery explosion, making the target unhealable. Then if you awaken it, it will make them unhealable for two turns. Cool character. I do wish it was like something more crazy about him i don't know he, he definitely helps out the burn meta because he has a burn on s1 that means you can get the counter going if you want to counter dual attack get the burns up but just seems this i mean the best thing about him is the s2 a self-cleansing guy obviously if you're thinking about like he's fire bringing him into the golem he'll cleanse off the debuffs as he's taking hits take off that defense break pvp i guess you can he can sit there but he looks like he's an attacker he doesn't have any other scalings or HP scalings, defense scaling, so he's an attacker, so he's a you know gonna be a fairly scrawny guy. And with that being scrawny, how many attacks are you gonna survive before you know just straight out dying? You might not even get a chance to dispel twice. But you know, we'll have to look at that, we'll have to see how that works, right? But it does it, it he will at least counter like MLR, right? Because all debuffs are dispelled and he gets this if he's attacked while the buff. So Let's say MLR takes that first turn, or even Bao takes that turn, right? Puts him to sleep. Then he gets attacked again, he will cleanse himself, and then he's ready to go. So you can run him like very hefty, not too slow. Can't be too slow, but you know, he could be, you know, he can at least that he has that, that thing to, and it's on his turn too, so he does have to get turns. And then he'll have an attack boost, and he can attack and make someone unhealable. Unhealable is okay, buff. I mean, debuff, right? Not the craziest debuff that they have. You know, you probably want blind. You know, he burns their eyes or something. 
like that or lower their attack really good stuff that's those are like two of the best ones in the game um but unable to heal is like a lot of characters they're not dealing too much healing in the in the meta i know that they technically are but not enough that i would want that i would probably want to blind or attack down but he is a free guy you can get him level him up he's a fire warrior scorpio so and he doesn't look too crazy gift 10 proof of courages might as well give him there because the guild doesn't really do much with him <laughs> and then boom get these adventure points here kill 300 of these pretty easy and then just clear this one stage so he seems very easy to get so almost if you need this type of character get him but without further ado let's get him a rinky dinky do and for some reason they don't let me full screen this which is very unfortunate but whatever let's check out fallen cc Fallen Cecilia is chasing a mage who turned her family into dark magic stones. Oh, she mad. She dreams of the day she can get her revenge and join her loved ones again. By a dark magician! That's what it read. <laughs> Mistake. Mistake. A basic skill with high chance to provoke the enemy. So that's a change. The provoke is now in the S1. Strong instinct. A passive skill that grants a barrier to all allies at the beginning of battle. That's it? And grants a barrier to the ally with the lowest health at the end of her turn. Gotcha. Gotta see how that scales, though. Spear That's the only reason why those guys are in the back. A skill that attacks all enemies and grants skill nullifier to all allies, negating Woo! damage received from the next skill attack. Are you prepared for this? That looks cool. That looks so sick. I mean, Fallen Cecilia is a dark elemental knight who she's specializes knight? Oh, yeah, in protecting though. her allies. With strong instinct, Fallen Cecilia grants a barrier to all allies at the beginning of battle. She also grants a barrier to the ally with the lowest health at the end of her turn, making her excellent at protecting allies. Furthermore, mistakes Furthermore. high chance to provoke, combined with Spear of Resentment's skill nullifier, greatly improves the team's stability. You can do Wyvern 11. Well, she, I mean, that is a good. Wait, what? What? What did they. Wait, what? Why'd they take damage afterwards? That was kind of weird. You you would think that if they were like, let's show how, how stable she is. And it's like, she didn't protect them at all. Ah, uh, man. I know why that happened, because the Wyvern technically takes your buffs off when he does that and then the attack goes through so it would have been better if they showcased that in like another dungeon where that i don't know that's just a really weird showcase of she looks she can protect all of them and it's like seven thousand uh why did you fail us <laughs> all right so she is a dark elemental knight the reason why i was somewhat surprised i don't know she just seemed like she was going to be like she just had this different appearance so maybe they were going to change her class or something like that so okay so first of all it's 85 percent chance Ooh, counter me baby 85 percent chance to provoke is nuts and then 100 percent chance 100 percent chance provoke is nuts counter me up baby that is crazy just like i said counter that is, that's screaming counter to me because they hit you you counter attack them provoke you go first provoke <laughs> Even though technically you're probably thinking the S3, you'd want an S3 immediately. But if there is a target that is more important to lock up, then you're gonna want to lock up that character first by just hitting him with the S1, if, especially if it's maxed out. That's crazy. That's insane. Um, the second one is is a crazy little passive. Now the barrier strength is proportionate to the caster's max HP. Again, that is so good because if it was target HP, it'd be garbage. <laughs> It'd be hot garbage because the problem is that you're running with attackers and soul weavers and sometimes they don't have as much hp as you're stacking hp on her so when you see a character that has caster's mass hp it's great because you can just slap all the hp on this one character and you're fine so the fact that the the barrier at the beginning of the battle is going to help them soak up some damage and this is going to be another thing i actually want to check out you know how crazy how many skill ups i hope that has a lot of skill ups that makes you can make the barrier even stronger and stronger but she's looking like she's gonna need some some molas but it's gonna be worth it attacks all enemies in in an explosion skill nullifier to the homies and you know all of them taking damage so now you don't have to provoke on the s3 anymore the aoe hit still does damage to the caster's max hp 
And then if you want a soul boil only for 10 souls, you can lower it by two turns. It's lowest at five turns, bringing it down to you. Then you use it, then it's four, then you bring it down to so two more turns after that. So I think the craziest part is the S2. I, I actually don't care about the skill nullify, though it is strong, but the fact that you're constantly giving a barrier. Now, I know her speed. She's already in the game. Like she was in the game and I, I feel bad because I, I didn't have the time. I was like, dang, she's here, but I'll just save it because I knew that they were going to do this. They were going to put it in the update or whatever like that. So her speed actually, once actually fully awakened, right, is actually 104. So she's not terribly slow. I think she's around the speed of like even Charles. But a lot since she gets out that barrier, right? She gives out this barrier, and as you can see, nothing but barrier skill ups. Nuts. That's insane. What is that? 20, 30, 45, 50% increased barrier strength, scaling off of her max HP. I might need to do a guide on her, and the reason why is because I want to see, like, compare her her base stats pretty much to everybody else. I think that that's what I really want to do. Now, the here, the S3, as you can see, the skill nullifier is all it is. It's like lowering the cooldown, as it said, bring it down one to cooldown, so it's a little bit quicker. But here, as you can see, easily get this to 100% and increase damage. She's going to do a lot of damage and have health. She's going to pretty much be Ken. This is Ken. Night Ken. <laughs> uh, max HP scaling unit that has a lot of HP, hard to take out. My phone's exploding. Yeah, everything she has scales off max HP, so you could just stack HP on her like nobody's business and she will just function. But her speed is, like I said, as we saw, 104. Need to get it up a little bit, but I think that that's it's so worth it. It's, it's completely worth it to get her speed up just a little bit, that you don't have to work too hard for it. But she is already giving out the barrier, which 50% increase sounds nuts. Oh God. That, that initial barrier is going to be big. It's going to be big. Let me know what you guys think about the character. Let me know what you guys think about the update. Like I said, I kind of brushed through it just because, I don't know, I feel like it's been said over and over and over again. We've been constantly covering this thing. So I just thought, let's just talk about the characters a little bit more in depth. And uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> damn, God, she's godlike. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Who knows what we'll see. Hopefully, uh, there's so much. All these games, this game, Knights Chronicles, everything is just going good in the world of the games that I play anyway. Even Shadowverse actually is doing pretty good too. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.